friends, I am Varun Vora and welcome to my channel IT with Varun to master the fundamentals. Friends as we are making progress on our ITGC journey and we have already covered privilege access and terminations across all key layers and currently new user testing area is almost done. I got a free request and questions related to privilege access area. So I decided to cover it in this separate video. Today, as many of you will have this question and it is important to understand this concept for any risk, security, compliance or audit assessment. And the question is, is very interesting on how to identify privilege accounts in an application, server or database. I've covered this in detail in my privilege access videos related to the application and within servers, we talked about the Windows, Windows and Linux and Unix server and within database, we covered Oracle and SQL. Now, these are the common ones. But what to do in case you encounter a server or database which is legacy or custom built or the ones which I have not covered during the privilege access testing videos across the three layers I talked about. So because I, I cover the standard and most common ones. Friends, the mantra is very simple. Whenever you are in a situation like this where you are not talking about a standard system, be it an application, server or database, you just need to go back to the basics and understand the word privileged from a risk standpoint, which simply means to have rights or access to perform certain things, which a regular user will not be able to do. And that's very critical. So we are trying to identify accounts which have privileges or which can perform actions which a regular user will not be able to do. And I've listed some examples here which I've also discussed in my other privilege access testing videos. So these are certain high risk actions like create, update, delete accounts, deploy changes in production, run automated bad jobs and update business data. These are some of the actions which are considered high risk. Doesn't matter what the system is. Doesn't matter which layer are we talking about. There will be accounts which will have certain roles and privileges to perform these actions. So all accounts having the privileges to perform such broad actions and I've just listed a few examples, but they are very broad in nature. They, they cover a lot of activities. In this case, we can bring all of those accounts in scope for privilege access testing. Again, it does not matter you have a known server or database in front of you or a completely unknown server or database. It does not even matter the person performing the assessment has a technical or a non-technical background. What you need to remember is to be a risk, security, compliance or audit professional, you just need to follow the risk and select the roles and privileges which are high risk as I talked about in these cases where the accounts which have the ability to create, update and delete other accounts, the accounts which can deploy changes in production, the accounts which can schedule automated bad jobs, the accounts with ability to update or delete or change business data, they are all accounts which can be considered privileged. I've already discussed how to test the privilege access in detail across all key layers in my privilege access testing videos. So please watch them for better understanding. Again, friends, to sum it up, if we need to identify accounts, be it any at any layer, be it a unknown server or a database which is legacy or custom built just need to follow the basics any high risk action which a regular account in your opinion cannot perform that will be considered a privileged action and all such accounts will be brought in scope for the assessment and uh, pretty much the broad categories are listed here on the board in most cases you will find that your account will be associated with one of these actions. 
I hope the video helped in further understanding the privilege accounts which falls in privilege access category under the ITGC category of logical access. Friends as you go through my videos and try to understand these concepts, if you have more such questions or comments, please reach out through the YouTube comment section as I make sure I go through each and every comment and respond. I'll be more than happy to create separate videos like this one as required if it helps you all for a better understanding. Also a quick request please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and join me in this risk security audit and compliance journey. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Till then bye.